Certainly, at some point in your life, you've encountered someone who complained a lot about their job, the low salary at the company, and how they're treated. They don't increase my salary, they don't give me vacations, they don't offer me training. Have you noticed what all these phrases have in common? This person wants to portray themselves as a helpless victim, incapable of changing their situation, or at least that's what they believe. In reality, these individuals are victims of their own loser mentality. That's why things aren't going well for them. Join us until the end of the video and discover 8 habits that you must avoid at all costs to change your financial life. Let's get started. Steve Jobs didn't believe that a phone should function solely as a simple phone. He thought it could be similar to or even better than a computer, a camera, and a music player. That's how the iPhone was born. Jack Ma, the founder of Alibaba, said the following in an interview. The worst people to serve are those with a poor mentality. Give something to them for free, and they'll think it's a trap. Say it's a small investment, and they'll say they don't earn enough. Invite them to invest heavily, and they'll say they don't have money. Invite them to try new things, and they'll say they don't know how to do it. Invite them to a traditional business, and they'll say it's difficult. Tell them it's a new business model, and they'll say it's a scam. Tell them to manage a store, and they'll say they don't have freedom. Tell them to start a new business, and they'll say they don't have experience. They have things in common. They love to ask, research, and listen to friends who are even worse off than they are. In reality, they think more like a philosopher, but move less than a blind person leading another blind person. Just ask them what they want to do, and they'll never be able to answer. The poor fail due to a common behavior. Their entire lives boil down and waiting. The defeated mentality is nothing but the consequences of bad habits that have developed over a lifetime, mental barriers that hinder success. We all have both good and bad habits. Sometimes it's challenging to define what is good or bad in human behavior and psychology. However, we'll call bad habits those that steer us away from the life we want to live, that block us from taking the right actions. Stealing our ideas and creativity is essential for achieving financial success. The first bad habit is blaming others. In reality, we are responsible for our own lives and need to stop thinking that others are responsible for our failures. The most curious thing is that our selfish point of view leads us to believe that if we fail, it's someone else's fault, but if we succeed, it's our merit. Think of it this way. Blaming others doesn't make you a better person. It's difficult to focus on what you can do to change your life if you're busy blaming others and neglecting the responsibility that lies with you. Stay focused on what you can really do, achieve and undertake, and stop seeing the world from the perspective that it's impossible because of this or that. Others influence your life, but you are the one who creates it. Just as the wind influences a boat's sails, but it's the boat that sets the course to follow, even against the wind. 2. Wasting time on regrets. Remorse is something that leads you nowhere and only wastes your time. What's the use of regretting? It won't change something that happened just by lamenting. Lamenting is focusing on the problem instead of the solution. Many people lament their situation with phrases like, I hate my job, I earn little, I chose the wrong profession, I'm a failure. But the reality is that when questioned about what they did to change their situation, the answer is always the same, nothing. People with a winning mindset focus on the solution rather than the problem. They learn and ask useful questions like, how can I change this situation? What can I learn? How can I prevent this from happening again? Asking these questions is more productive than just lamenting. 3. Envying others' success When we see someone succeeding, it's hard not to feel a bit envious. We see someone achieving what we would like to achieve. However, envy is poison to your mind because, once again, you are focusing on what others have achieved instead of focusing on what you can achieve. Concentrate only on your own goals, not others. 4. Being afraid of change Many professionals fear change, hate their jobs, and are afraid of changing. Or are simply bored but don't change due to fear. The key is to weigh the potential benefit versus the risk you take. If the benefit is much greater than the risk, then it's worth it. When you need to make an important decision, ask yourself, what's the worst that could happen? You'll see that often the consequences are not as severe as you thought. People with a winning mindset do not fear change. They embrace it because they know that change brings opportunities. 5. Putting off everything until later. Also known as the habit of procrastination, it's like the ostrich strategy, 
burying your head in the sand and hoping everything will pass. You might not agree with many old sayings, but there's one that definitely makes sense. Don't put off until tomorrow what you can do today. It's clearly a negative habit to close your eyes to the situation and postpone important and crucial decisions or actions. There are certainly things that require your attention right now. Don't delay. Don't let cowardice cover your eyes. Take responsibility for your life today. 6. The Terrible Habit of Acting on Impulse Often, our common sense fails when we act impulsively, allowing our more primitive side to take control. Think about all possible consequences before acting on impulses. Be smarter than you are now. If a quick decision is necessary, make it. But pause for a moment to assess whether it's a good decision or not. Many regrets and tears result from impulsive actions, from decisions made based on almost irrational impulses. Anger and anxiety are not good starting points for decision making, as they are usually per counselors. Your mindset is a consequence of your habits. To have a winning mindset, you need to abandon loser habits. Reason. Think with a clear head and make your decision calmly. 7. Waiting for the perfect moment. Always waiting for ideal conditions is like wanting all the traffic lights in the city to turn green. Eventually you'll have to stop, obviously, and you might need to go back or take alternate routes. But if you start immediately, you'll get there much faster, learn more than you imagined, and finally reach your goal. Don't be afraid to start now and prevent fear from dominating you. Act without waiting for what could be the best time to do so. It's not necessary for all conditions to be perfect. Create those conditions for yourself. If you don't, things might never be as you wish and you'll never move toward your goals. Don't wait for a boat to come for you and take you to your destination. Build your own boat and embark on it. 8. Thinking that the world owes you everything. We live in a society that teaches us this. We are used to saying that we have rights to everything. The right to decent housing, the right to decent work, the right to health, education, the right to express ourselves as we want, rights, and more rights. We think that just by existing, society owes us something. But the question is, what have you done to improve this society? We agree on having rights, but rights come with obligations. Want a house, work for it, want a job, prepare and study, want access to health care, contribute to social security, want freedom of speech, Respect others. The world doesn't owe you anything. It's up to you to strive to make this world a better place. And that's how the world owes you something. Which of these habits do you identify with? What will you do to change them? Let us know in the comments so we can help you. Overall, many of these habits are relatively easy to eliminate. However, we recommend dealing with them one at a time, setting aside one habit at a time, so that the adaptation process is simpler. You'll see the wonderful results you can achieve. If you liked the video, I invite you to like it and subscribe so you don't miss new videos that can help you. See you in the next video.